Monday. I believe we are on day 22. I went to make some muffins and I'm out of eggs. What I've decided, me and Robbie are gonna take a little walk to the market so I can grab some eggs. Super chilly, so he's bundled up. I'll show you guys. I decided to surprise my mom and bring her some of the muffins that I made this morning. So we are currently at my mom and sister's house. Good afternoon. I have no idea what time it is. Actually, I think it's later than it feels. It is almost two. Definitely later than it feels. We got back from my mom's house. We were there for maybe like an hour. Her reaction to the muffins was not what I had hoped for. However, she said that as she kept eating them, they totally were growing on her. I think she was just expecting that first bite to taste like what a muffin tastes like. And you guys, it just doesn't. It doesn't taste like a real muffin because it has no sugar in it. It's only sweet from the bananas. I'm telling you guys the key, if you want them to be as sweet as possible, use ripe bananas because if the bananas are not ripe, they're not gonna be that sweet. As she was eating them, she said they were growing on her and she's excited to have them for breakfast and she's gonna make them. She's actually at the grocery store now getting the ingredients to make them because they're just really nice to have on hand. Super healthy, I actually was curious what the benefits of coconut flour or if there were any benefits and it's like actually very healthy coconut flour is made literally just from coconuts and it has a ton of fiber and just another one of those ingredients in the banana muffins that's actually really good for you try them i'm curious what you guys think i know i'm like obsessed with these muffins but it's like the best thing i found on whole 30 because i'm somebody who likes to eat sweet things in the morning i love pastries i love like i said like a muffin with my coffee in the morning for the rest of the day we actually have plans to go and have dinner at my mom and sister's house so we're going back over there today my whole family is coming. It's been a little bit since we've all gotten together. I have two older brothers and two older sisters. I'm the youngest of five. There's a lot of us. It's, it's really fun. It's a fun time. I've got two nieces and two nephews. My nieces, unfortunately, will not be there tonight, but my nephews will. I believe my mom is making something called zigany. Zigany is a really interesting dish that you've probably never heard of. My dad was actually born in Africa. He was a uh, part Ethiopian, and this dish is actually an Ethiopian dish. Zigany is made with this spice called berbere. You can find it in very few places and he would literally get it shipped from like out of the country. It's like a super spicy African chili. There's no vegetables in it. It's just beef and like a, a chili consistency. I'll show you guys. I'm pretty sure my mom is making it tonight. You actually serve it with hard boiled eggs, which as many times as I've eaten this, I've eaten this in my life. I've never tried it with a hard boiled egg because I just never really loved eggs growing up. But tonight I am going to try it with a hard boiled egg because usually I enjoy eating it with this type of potato that my mom makes with it. Uh, but the potato unfortunately has added sugar so I, she won't be making that tonight. She's just gonna do the zigany and the hard boiled eggs. I definitely have to show you guys. Totally Whole30 approved. There's really not many ingredients. The only thing that's hard to find is the spice. I'm excited to take you guys along and show you a uh, recipe that's been in my family for as long as I can remember. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm like battling if I wanna just leave it wet and up when I go to my mom's house, but it would be nice to style it today so that tomorrow I can just like brush it and just, you know, go. I don't really do much to my hair on second day. And it's usually good enough that I can wear it down. So anyways, I decided I'm just going to blow dry it and probably pop a couple extensions in and touch up a few curls on my natural hair. So I figured I'd show you guys. Okay, here's my hair after my blow dry. Frizzy, I just have really frizzy hair. Anyways, 
I am using a one and a half inch curling iron. I always love to use the Hot Tools one. Um, I'm gonna curl my natural hair really fast. Just I, I just like a really loose wave. And then I'm gonna pop my extensions in. But I've still been playing with my extensions, like which pieces I want to go where and if I want to cut them. I kind of think I'm gonna cut them. I just haven't wanted to commit to it yet until I know exactly what I wanna do. So it might take me a couple tries to find where I want the extensions to go. So I'll show you guys. natural hair as you can see I literally only like a bend I do not like a curl I'll go grab my extensions I have the extensions exactly where I want them I'm liking this placement but the ends are just too stringy so I'm gonna take some length off and I wanted to show you guys uh, I do not recommend this at home. PSA. Took the length off. Now I gotta texturize that. Okay, it's getting better. See how much better this side looks over this side? It's like way square. better so much more I guess just real looking it's a lot closer to my natural length I would not recommend you cut your own extensions at home or your own hair but if you have to just do it carefully I had a nice big breakfast but I'm ready for lunch and I remembered I had this chicken salad and it sounds so good so I'm gonna make some of that right now it tastes fresh and I honestly really, really enjoy it with the fresh chicken and I just boiled it and put some seasonings on there. Listen to this crunch. Very, very spicy, very good. Not crazy about it with the egg. No, no. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's good without it. It's good without it. It doesn't need the egg. It's throwing me off. Yeah. It's fine though. It's super spicy. Very delicious. Sophia made the chicken teriyaki. Super easy. Coconut aminos and chicken broth. That's it. Don't don't you love him so much? Hi, mom. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. It's on my second cup of coffee, drinking my water. I've been chugging today. Uh, last night was so fun. It was good to see my family, all my siblings. Always a good night with the whole fam. Dinner was so good. My sister and I told my mom that that was the best zigany that she's done in a very long time. It was extremely spicy, which is the way I like it. I could not stop eating last night. I had a bowl of zigany at my mom's house. I had quite a bit of the chicken and vegetables that they made. I came home and I wanted something sweet so bad and I had two RX bars. Like RX bars should not be treated as like dessert. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're having a craving. One thing I'm really excited about, my sister has an orange tree and it is orange season right now. 
and I brought home a huge bag of oranges. They're so delicious. They're super sweet and juicy. On the agenda today, we definitely need to do like a whole grocery haul. We need a whole restock of our produce. We just need a couple other things. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit today. You can see behind me on the counter. up really quick I feel like it makes such a difference to just like clean the counters you know clean the living room now for the part that I'm gonna show you guys you saw that we just cleaned the nursery and it was just spotless how does this happen please someone tell me so I have to tackle that today and my absolute least favorite chore of all time that's all we have on the agenda before the work week just gonna get my closet cleaned up the nursery cleaned up groceries restock the fridge I'll show you what that looks like really quick oil kind of person my favorite thing to diffuse especially in the kitchen is peppermint mixed with something else or by itself really makes the house feel really clean and fresh cleaning is done for the day except Robbie's room I still have to do that but I'm going to make some quick breakfast I'm just going to do a frittata like my mom taught me Mine does not look nearly as good as my mom's looked. I didn't even attempt to do her trick where she like took the pan and flipped it, but it's still gonna taste good, so it's fine. Just got back from the grocery store. We went to Fry's. Here is everything. Here's the after of the fridge. Just had to show you guys, that's how many bananas I got today. Everything is put away and I'm gonna be honest, I did not feel like getting everything washed and prepped and we're pretty hungry, it's pretty late, so we're wanting to start dinner. Cody is actually going to be doing the cooking tonight. It's a really chilly day here in Phoenix, so we decided that we are going to make some soup. It's a chicken tortilla-less soup. We'll obviously have plenty of leftovers for tomorrow, which is always my favorite thing about soup. I will have him check in and film a little bit here and there. 